Welcome to part two of the ACRB inspections. I had to split this video into two parts, so if, if you haven't watched part one, I recommend going back and watching that. For those of you who are returning and would like to know how the inspections turned out, let's get into it. I want to go inspect a house that I haven't seen yet. This one. Badoof. So leaving here, I just more or less got to go straight east, right? Yeah, east. Oh, I see sweet berries getting farmed here. Oh, she's got a little llama. She's got two little llamas. Alright, here we are. Little Hobbit Hole style home here. For our lovely Shadoof. Labeled in everything. Comes complete with a lovely little water feature here. Um, would have loved to see this acro extend across the windows, but uh, honestly, honestly, I like it. Gives the access back here as well as uh, kind of opening up those windows a little bit so you can actually see out. Not that those windows are facing anything, but I'm assuming she's going to be removing some of this in the near future. All right, going inside here. Got a really nice interior. I like the uh, difference between the spruce and the dark oak there. Uh, main entrance bedroom. Oh, we're seeing our first dump chest. And a little storage area that's still under construction. All of these, I'm assuming, are... Oh, not entirely empty. Mine entrance. Oh. You know, I think the only way this mine entrance could be worse is if it was one wide. Ooh, Shadoof, you're losing points on that. Now, obviously, Shadoof hasn't really built this up much, so we're going to have to keep that in mind, too. Um, style? I really like the style of this. You know, I, I can see some terraining stuff that she can work on here, but, uh, you know, maybe work on the outside of the house a little bit. Like, uh, make more of this dirt, maybe clear out an area here so that window's, you know, actually looking at something besides a sand hill. But, uh, besides that, I really, I, I can see what she's going for here, and I really like it. Sort of, uh... What should we call this? Modern Hobbit Hole. Very sleek, very stylish. I'm going to give Shadoof an 8 out of 10 on style. Immediately. Size, I'm going to give her another 2 out of 10 because, again, all of these sizes are probably going to be 2 out of 10s for a while because these are all starter homes and we none of us have really played all that much so far. You know, out of everybody, I think I played the most and most of that time has gone into mining rather than building. <clears throat> I'm sure as the season goes on and I do more of these inspections, they're going to get bigger. And I mean, you can, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could rebuild my house, damn near rebuild my house inside of this house. So the size is pretty good already and I can see where her extensions are going to be you know what I'm actually gonna give her a 3 out of 10 because honestly it's probably the biggest one we've seen so far let's see here oops whose size did I change oh mine nah nah I'm saying it 2 out of 10 sorry Nave Farming, uh, I'm going to have to give her a 1 out of 10 because the only thing she's growing right now is sweet berries. Location. Um, I mean, it's beachfront, kind of. Uh, you can't really see the beach from here, but 
it's kind of beachfront. It's in a hill. It's, you know, it, it's got things going for it. Yeah, I'm going to give her another 5 out of 10. Mine access. I'm so sorry, Shadoof. Your mine is awful. Landmarks. Uh, mm. Again, no real big landmarks nearby to make it easy to find. I'm going to have to give you a 1 out of 10 there. Ease of access. Uh... You know what? I think this one's going to be another 10 out of 10. It's nearby for me. Uh, through my n current traveling methods, which is on foot entirely. I don't even have a horse yet or anything. And organization. Uh, what did I give myself? Three. Yeah, that's going to have to be a 1 out of 10 so far, Shadoof. Thirty out of eighty so far. Now again, I would like to stress: these are starter bases. Nobody has played very much. This isn't the only inspection I'm going to do. I'm going to go through uh, every few episodes or so and redo these inspections on everybody. Uh, because people will move, people will be building onto their house, you know. Th things are going to change, people's ratings are going to go up and down. Uh, and again, this isn't a competition. The ratings, they mean nothing. Less than nothing. This is just for a little silly goof. Alright. So three down. Quite a few to go. I'm going to stop back by my house real quick, and then we'll head off to Nini's place, which is also nearby. Alright. Next up is going to be Nini, and I believe Ragan is facing with her. So we'll head over there. And check out what she's been building. Here we are. Oh, they put some work in since the last time I was here. Let's see here. Oh. Farms? They seem to have just about every animal you can uh, farm in Minecraft. Let's see here. Pumpkins, carrots, wheat. Good sized plots on each of those. They're also farming glowberries and sweetberries. Looks like they're gonna get a, you know, probably eight, t eight out of ten for farming. Multicolored uh, sheep. The only, the only thing I could say about their farm being a little bit better is maybe having a wider variety of sheep and maybe setting up some automated stuff for like the chickens and whatnot. But besides that, they're doing pretty good on farming. Moving over here to the main house. That is a proper Hobbit style home. Very lovely. A lot of greenery. Good texturing on the outside. Not too shabby, guys. Let's see inside here. I got a little axolotl swimming around. Aww. We even gave him little plants. Got the spore blossom. This leads to just... So, clearly they aren't done yet. Then I believe over here, they have stuff inside of these mushrooms. Yep, and here's their storage solution. Uh, a little organized, but... You know, I'm not saying separate chests, there isn't a lot of storage, and 
none of it's labeled, so they're gonna lose points on storage. Mine access, this is their mine here. Or so I thought. So where is their mine? Got a nice long pathway here. Mm. I would prefer to see some variation on the texturing on their path, but uh, you know, having a path is always a bonus anyway. Let's see where this path takes us, yeah? Ah, more sugarcane. And to their dock. I feel like I'm still missing something in here because, oh. I know they are obviously sleeping here. Aha. But I'm not seeing a bed anywhere. So, yes, we did indeed miss something here. <clears throat> ah, they got a map too. With the dump chest. Ah, they got a little music disc. That's nice. What? Hm. Outside crafting access, I guess. Oh, is this where they're actually mining? Would appear so. Little bubble elevator here. You know, I think this might just be the ravine that I was looking for that I passed by on our first stream. But it looks like somebody's found it and put it to use. So that's nice. Okay, mine a little bit disorganized. Could do with clearing some of this up to make it a straighter shot from the entrance to where the mine proper starts. But, as far as accessibility goes, it is... I mean... Waterfall? Alright, I'll take that over, you know. Having to jump all the way up, back up out of a mine. One block at a time. Overall, I'd say not bad. You know what? I'm gonna give them another 8 out of 10 for style. Size, another 2 out of 10, which I I wouldn't expect anybody to have a, you know, more than like a 2 out of 10 so far. Because all of these are more or less the first things we're building are gonna be smaller. But, uh, farming is a definite. 8 out of 10. I mean, multiple sheep colors, carrots, wheat for the animals, pumpkins, sugarcane, all good sized plots, wide variety of animals, love it. Location, uh, I mean the location itself is kind of basic, but I do like this natural cave thing. I would love to see them do something with it. Because it's not a proper cavern, but it's a little incropping into the stone there. I would love to see them work that into some builds around here. Location, I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10. Mine access is going to be a... Uh, probably a... Set another 7 out of 10. Just because the waterfall's nice and they've got a nice ravine to mine in. And Yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to knock off a point on mine axis just because their mine is so far away from their base. Landmarks. I mean... There just isn't any landmarks around here. So I'm going to give them another 1 out of 10 for landmarks. Uh, no, actually, they do have the hay bale smoke stack. I'll give them a 2 out of 10.
Oops, and it's not theirs. Ease of access to me, uh, another 10 out of 10. We're practically neighbors. Organization is where they're going to take a hit. Because I'm not seeing any real organization and just a couple dumb chests and honestly they don't have that much storage. So... I'm a 3 out of 10 on organization. They're going to have to be a 1 out of 10, right? Doof, I'm actually going to give her an extra point on organization because at least she's starting to make a storage system. So in total, that is going to be a 344. Yeah. So they are our highest ranking member so far. On to our next one, who's going to be a little bit of a distance away. And I am actually going to take the map so I don't get lost going to his house. Is going to be our friendly neighborhood merchant, Brez. Oh, ah, oh, there it is. It's about to happen. Now that that's done and dusted. We can head over to Rise's base. I remember when he took me on a little tour of his base on like the first day. It uh wasn't too terribly far away. And it does have river access, so Despite the distance, I'm probably going to give him quite high marks on ease of access. Uh, ease of access. This is Brazos. So he's set up in an abandoned village. Here we are. All right, so. Five points for Brez. This is his house. Or was it this one? Or was it this one down here? No, he was using this for his mining house where he just stores all his stuff. Or so I thought. Apparently he's not storing anything there. Oh. He has one too. I could have sworn this was going to be Brez's map, but... I don't think whoever put it here would, uh, hide his map like that. So that just leaves Jamin. But Jamin would have had his own base marked on it, surely. Huh. Did we see a map in Ella's house? I wonder. Gonna have to go check that. The mystery of the maps. Hmm. That's gonna be worth a ponder later. Alright, so, onward with the looking around. Brez doesn't really have a house it doesn't look like yet. <clears throat> Unless he set something up down here. Now as far as mine access goes, there you do need to jump up a little bit, but besides that, it's a pretty straight shot down. Oh, looks like he's got a little smeltery base set up over here. So I'm not seeing a base around here unless he's set up in the area that he's calling his Mines of Moria. Which would be down here further. If I remember correctly. Man has just such an amazing ravine to mine Ed. I don't know, I'll have to ask him about it and I'll edit his score later once I find out for sure, but it doesn't look like he's 
set anything up. It doesn't look like he has storage. I have no idea what he's been doing. So I'll head up and give him a quick store. Or a quick uh, score real quick. But just note. Uh, score. His score is probably the highest subject to change. Oh, this is his house. Okay. Don't ask about that. Um, let's see here. He's got some axolotls. Barely any storage, and it's not organized, so he's gonna lose points there. And I guess this is where he's farming, and... Oh, breath. These aren't gonna grow like this. You gotta have an empty space for the pumpkins to grow. Oh well. Okay, style. Uh, one out of ten. For now. Uh, this can dramatically go up easily. Easily. Style's probably the quickest one to turn around if you're falling behind it. Like, all he has to do is set up some cool little builds here and, you know, make this look like an, a proper abandoned mining town. And this would be instantly amazing. Size, 1 out of 10. I'm sorry, you're living in a single villager house farming. 1 out of 10. It's tiny. It's not growing, even growing very well. Like, the only thing you're actually growing here is wheat. I can't give you points for farming, Braz. Location, however, 10 out of 10. I mean, I don't think I showed them all or highlighted them as I went down, but he's got like three or four amethyst geodes, natural axolotl spawns, natural glowing squid spawns, a baby zombie running at me. I, the, the mines look amazing, like... Yeah. The location, easiest 10, 10 out of 10 of my life. Mine access, another 10 out of 10. Super easy to get down and up, and I'm gonna come in here while I write this. Uh, super easy to get in and out of, large open spaces to wander about in, like, honestly, chef's kiss. Landmarks, I'm going to give them a, probably a 2 out of 10, just because there's nothing, you know, obvious from the surface to look out for. I mean, like, you're just wandering around and you see an abandoned village, I guess, but it's not really a landmark. Ease of access, uh... I have pretty direct river access. It's a little bit far away, so I'm gonna give him a 9 out of 10. Organization? I'm gonna have to give him a 1 out of 10 here, too. There's just... It's nothing. Get your storage up, man. 435 out of 80. Alright. Gonna go meander my way home real quick. Nini, however, her score does need to go up because thinking about it, eh, I'll bring her up to a three. Thinking about it, she does have a dock, she has torches leading, she has the paths. She has stuff to let people know around her house how to get to her house, you know? And while I'm here, I want to go look around Ellis' house, see if I can see if she has a map. She might have taken it already. Not seeing it. It's entirely possible that she spawned it already, and she has it on her, I guess? Unless she just didn't get one yet. You know, thinking about it. 
So mine was hidden behind a pillar. Raz was hidden behind his house. Does Shadoof have one? I mean, I feel like they wanted the maps to be found eventually. So I'm guessing they didn't hide it anywhere too challenging. Alright, I'm not seeing a map in Shadoof's house either. So, map mystery. I had a map, Bryce had a map. I'm unsure about Ella and Shadoof. Nini had a map. But here's the thing. My map was hidden behind a pillar in my storage room. Bryce's map was hidden behind one of his houses. Without... Nini's... Is at the top of her stairs, front and center, right next to her spawn. Oh, you know what? I think I can find proof. Because to make a map larger, you need a cartography table. Now, I don't have a cartography table. I don't think Ella has a cartography table. But... Aha! I think we found our map cold part. I'm gonna go shoot her message. I'm not even gonna give her tech, uh, context. It's just gonna say, Was it you? She's gonna be like, Was what me? I'm gonna respond with, You know what? Now, I did receive coordinates for one more base here, which would be Josh's. He is extremely far away. So, I'm going to jump cut to when I'm there, and only splice in little clips of anything that interesting happens on my way there. Now, apparently, this is just the site of his larger build, which, style points, even just so far, 10 out of 10, Josh. Good theming. Uh, Well-structured build. These houses are a bit small, but I totally get it. I can totally see what he's doing. Honestly, 10 out of 10. Just from an aesthetics per, uh, standpoint. Alright, farming. He's got a sugarcane farm, glowberry farm. Josh build zone. But... But you misspelled your name. Don't worry. I'll fix it for you. What are friends for? Right? George. Much better. Well, first off, let's go check out his little shack. Which is up here. Oh, again, Josh. Really, man. It's just embarrassing at this point. No organization whatsoever. Barely any storage. Oh, don't worry. I, I saw you misspelled your name on that sign, but I fixed it for you. Now, apparently, he's got a temporary base further north from here. Oh, and that must be it. Let's see here, storage. He's got a good amount. But again, I 
it's not organized. Farming, he's got cactus growing, which is good. Sweet berries. Beetroot. We haven't seen anyone farming beetroot yet. Area right along an exposed mine car abandoned mine shaft. That's quite good. Style. 10 out of 10, Josh. Good job. Size. 5 out of 10. And 4 out of 10. It's the largest one by far so far. <clears throat> But, you know, it's not, like, an impressive amount of size. Uh, farming, I'll give him a 3 out of 10 because he is the only one farming cactus or beetroot so far. It's just not a lot of it. Location. Honestly, his location's really impressive. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Mine axis. I'll give him a 7 there, because, you know, swimming in to the mine is quite easy. Just the jumping back out that makes me want to knock points off there. Landmarks? I mean, it's a desert. There's no real landmarks. Alright, Josh, I'm going to have to give you a 1 there. Ease of access. I'm going to have to give you another 1 here, because... Just because of the distance away. And organization's gonna have to be another one. You have like five chests and all of them are dump chests. 34 for Josh. Jamin finally got back to me about the coordinates to his base. So I'm gonna go have a bit of a wander that way and give his house a rating. I do believe we have made it. Why are these two logs skinned? Cause was it on purpose or on accident? Uh, it was skinned when I came when I came like this. This house was designed like this. This is a really different design. I haven't seen something like this before. Yeah. Why are the pigs and the cows mixed together? Uh, that's just how it came. I didn't really mess with it that much. And the cat is in there. So, we have, um... Guy. We have a Fletcher, we have an Armor... That one's a novice This armor. is a really nice village. It's nice and flat, not like all shit generated. Yeah. But this cartographer dude... Ah! Oh, oh my! A creeper! A creeper! Ah! I would get him. No! Oh, uh, well. Alright, that's fine. Running away so you wouldn't blow up near your village. That's okay. I can kill this. I got dirt. I didn't so... Uh, I made one chest that's kind of just for, like, random dirts and stones. So, uh, we should be able to fill this back in now. Would you mind making me a stone pickaxe or something? So I can... Oh, I'm gonna get you a diamond pickaxe. There is no trees nearby. Ow! Hi. What the heck? <laughs> you scared me! <laughs> oh, Excuse God. Excuse me, Nave. Did you know Jamin had three beds in his home before I even arrived? Do you know anything about this? We need to have a talk. Uh, um... Hmm. Are you enabling this behavior of three beds in hang here? Hang on, hang on. Just, can you go inside for a second? Let me and Jamin talk for a second. <laughs> Jamin, I thought, were... I thought I told you. Move the bed to beds to, like, a different house so she doesn't find out. I forgot. I'm sorry. I didn't expect her to come so soon. <laughs> These doors are not soundproof! <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Come yeah. over here. The first thing she did in this village. Oh, yeah, the yeah. The first thing she did in this village. Right into this hole. This was a stone pit. There was a stone here. Here, I'm gonna... As it was, like this. She saw this like, hole and immediately was like, I need to so jump in. What's in here? Oh, gosh. Well, <laughs> I, I was just stopping by to do uh, home inspections. So, I, by the way, I put a uh, portal. Oh. If you go down in this water right here, mm -hmm. 
this goes to like some of my splunking area, but importantly, it's also got my portal. Oh, so you would describe so, this as your mine entrance then? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So okay. This, That's this important mine, for the home inspection. It true, true. Yeah. <laughs> so there, there's cone? a mine right down here. It has okay. stairs. It, it does have stairs. Yep. That's a good sign. We've got, we've but is there handrails? Um, OSHA uh, regulations. Uh, you and I are the only people who put stairs in our mind, by the way. That is kind of huge on the, uh, one of the categories I'm judging people under. Mine entrance. Oh, stairs, okay. big it's... thing. Nice, nice, nice. Suppose I'll get their home inspection under the way. Are you streaming? Uh, recording. Oh. Hello, YouTube. Uh, style points. Seems pretty basic. It's just a village. It's a very nice, like, beachfront village, so I'm going to give him some points for that. Uh, we'll go with four. Uh, size, I'm going with tiny because it's just a villager house. However, they are going to be... Uh, I'll give them a three because, you know, it's bigger than... Uh say Braz's house but uh could be a lot bigger uh farming they've got a couple farm plots set up they're not very big somewhat diverse so I'll give them a four they do got cows and pigs not a huge fan of farming pigs myself but what can you do? Let's see here. Location. I mean, that's going to be a solid five, honestly. It's a nice little beachfront area in the village. Very good for trades. Let's see here. Hey, Jamin, can you replace that fence? I would like to put the pigs over there. Mine access. Uh, yes, I can. Uh, you know, I would like to see it a little bit Hold wider. On. Let me bring the pigs, and then you can close the fence up. It's not very well decorated. Right. I'm all about like organization with the animals. No, no, no. I'll give I them a five. Okay. At least they upstairs. Can you get out? Oh yeah, you have landmarks. Uh, one out of ten. I don't see any way of knowing that it's here without going to the exact coordinates. Mm. Ease of access. Oh, and this is my diamond armor. I'll give them a 5 out of 10. It's not terribly far away, and it's by boat, so it's quick. Organization. Uh, I don't know. What did I give other people? I'll give them a 2 out of 10 for organization. 29. Need to find my Fletcher. Nope. Ah, uh, Fletcher. Pick my sticks. Alright, with that, I should only have possibly one more person. If Sassy is building up a base currently, I'll have to check hers. Oh, and off in the distance here. I do believe that is the house of one sassy Charlene with diorite walls. Aaron bars in the base. That's nice. That's nice. Composters on the walls. Little shutters over the windows. Very cool. Very cool. Hi. Hey. What are you at? Oh, uh, I'm just doing home inspections. 
Make sure they look good enough for you. Yep, yep, exactly, exactly. You get it. It's not done yet. Oh, nobody's face is done yet. Don't worry, I grade on a curve. Oh, she's definitely getting a 10 out of 10 for style. Okay, style. 10 out of 10. Love it, sassy. Size. Uh, what did I give myself? Redoof was a 3. Yeah, she's getting a 3. Uh, no farms set up except for sweet berries. So, I mean, at least she has a farm, which means she gets a 1 out of 10. The only way to get a zero is if you just straight up do not have something. Location. Let's see. I gave most people five, so I'll do the same for Sassy. Mine access. Ooh. Should do sort of one out of ten. Sass is gonna be a two out of ten. The only way to get a zero on mine access is actually Sassy's is gonna whoops. Sassy's is going to be a one out of ten as well because although you're not hitting your head, you are still one block wide. Landmarks. Campfire with no hay bale. Hmm. And a giant spruce tree. Out in the middle of the field. So I'll... You know what? I'll be kind. I'll give her... A 2 out of 10. Oops, that is not. Ease of access, 10, because it's not very far, and... Honestly, I can just mostly walk here. I need to cross, like, one river. That's fine. Organization, gonna have to give her a 1. That's 13, 14, 19, 20, 22... 23, 24. Most of her points went into styles, but let me make my way home. And... All right, Sassy, I'm heading out. Okay. Uh, I will announce on the server. Well, I probably will. I'll probably keep these readings secret from you guys. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay. Okay, so... I have no idea what happened to your cornflower sassy. Oh, there's blue dye in my chest? No, that came from... Lapis. Yeah. I'm going to take a short break here and tabulate some scores. Post them on the wall. Hey, right, there we are. I hold in my hand the totals. Now, what I did was just kind of averaged everything out, got a medium ranks kind of grading curve scale, and graded everybody according to that, and run it to the up to the nearest 10. And here are the totals Nini with 8, Ella and Wall with 7. Braz with 7, Shadoof with 6, Josh with 6, Jamin and Fox with 5, and Raganin with 5. Now I'm going to find this. You see it be what? There. And I'll give it periods. C R B I. That way, people don't think it's ECRB I. It's ECRB 1. 
Sign and close. Please note, the ECRB is an entirely for fun thing. These scores do not mean much of anything. Please take this as the good spirited fun that I intended it as. I love all of you and all of your contributions to the server are amazing. Love, Knave. <clears throat> and hopefully people who find it aren't upset if they're like not at the top or didn't get a 10 or whatever. But this isn't going to be the last time I rate everybody's base. It's just the last time for a little while. I'm going to let people kind of catch up, build stuff, play more, etc. And we'll do inspections later. Uh, probably once every few episodes I'll go through and do this again. So I hope people take the ECRB as just a fun little thing and nobody takes it too seriously. But I kind of hope that part of me... Okay. Listen. Real talk. I hope nobody takes this seriously. But part of me kind of hopes that people use this as an excuse to motivate themselves to build bigger and better things. Because I really want to see some amazing builds on this server. And I know everybody here is creative enough and impassioned enough to do it. But with that out of the way... I'm going to go enchant my pickaxe and mine for a few hours. I won't put you through that. So, this is the end. I hope you guys had as much fun watching it as I had making it. And I hope to see you in the next episode, which should be out next week sometime. And until then, keep it weird. <laughs>